It has been some time now since Mount St. Helens last erupted, and when it did, it did wreak some havoc. This, sitting here on the west coast of the United States, along with other volcanoes, you know, all the way up into Alaska, the whole ring of fire here recently, seeing some activity. There has been activity in Costa Rica, in Russia. We've also seen big-time quake activity here recently along the Ring of Fire. Now, the Mount St. Helens has been giving off a recent swarm of quakes. What's interesting about this is anytime there's small quake activity around a volcano, you have to pay attention to what's really going on. A couple years ago in Africa, I had witnessed the same thing happening, very shallow, just a few kilometers beneath the surface, uh, anywhere between one to five. And I, I watched these quakes start marching in an eastern type of direction. As I scrolled to the right, I looked and I seen that there was a volcano up ahead. And they just kept on this pattern heading toward the volcano. So I put out the video and I said, look, if this thing gets any closer and we see anything strike the dome of this volcano, it's going to erupt. And Atreyu, I believe it was, and that's what happened. The quake hit right at the base. The next one hit right at the top. And within 20 minutes, there was alerts going out that there had been an eruption of that volcano. And they ended up showing pictures of the plume uh, from outer space, from satellite it wasn't, uh, it wasn't one that caused a lot of uh, flight problems, so to speak, but it, it was picked up and noticed. Mount St. Helen, it could wreak a lot of havoc on the area if it let loose. Now, this is an active volcano, and the scientists are saying right now that this thing is recharging. That here recently, there have been 120 earthquakes just in a few days, and there's been more since then. If you go to Global Incident Map, if you go to USGS, if you even try to look for the most minimal earthquakes in this area, you're not going to find what they're, what they're trying to tell you about here. That is a problem, big time, across the board. When you go to all these earthquake sites, and none of them are reporting the swarms going on around a certain area, specifically an active volcano. What they're saying is this is magma on the move. They're saying that this is magma getting into different cracks and rifts and everything's adjusting. And they say it could be some time in the future before this thing blows. But realistically, you never know. If the quakes start to pick up, if a vein cracks open and magma is injected into that chamber quickly enough and things start to break apart, depending on where it's at, if it's near a fault, another pocket, or if the only way it has to do is work its way up, that's when you have to start paying attention. But that's when they, like in Yellowstone, they'll pay attention to the ground swelling, okay? And those are things you have to pay attention to as well. The, the temperature of any water around to see if things are heating up. But a sure sign that there's some activity in that the volcano is active is when you start to see these quake swarms. So, you know, I wish I could zero in and show you specifically, but for some reason they want to keep that information hidden. If you go over to USGS, anywhere else, uh, they're not listed. Uh, to find the quake data, I do believe you're going to have to probably go to a university or something that is controlling these sensors specifically around this volcano. I will dig deeper into this, but I know that uh, certain places like Yellowstone, they too... Uh, will have quakes that will not register on USGS. They will have smaller swarms, but to find that exact data, you have to go to their site, to their sensors. You have to look all that up and find it. And uh, I'm going to dig deeper here into Mount St. Helens, but I wanted to cover it and put it out there. In the meantime, let it be known that there is a swarm going on here at this location. We also just witnessed a couple decent quakes in California coming on the heels of a rather large one hit right there off the Juan de Fuca off the coast, that coming on the heels of a big Solomon Islands earthquake. Today, Solomon, Solomon Islands was hit again with a decent mid, mid-range mid quake, but at the same time, we saw a five-pointer hit in central California. And right before that, there was a four-pointer, and both spots swarming, and the one in the north being located right near the geysers of California. 
So that's a look at some of the recent activity. Wanted to put the alert out and let it be known. Mount St. Helens is showing signs of life and activity. Magma on the move. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll leave links below. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. For anyone out there wanting to stock up on medicine before a crisis situation, also make sure to check out the Essential Drug Store. They're there if you guys need them. I'll leave links below. Until next time, this has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.